You know why I'm wearing this shirt so much? Why? Because New Year's is coming, so up the time I got. Up your butt I got. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Thank you, Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. Juicy content that blooms like this and then squirts. It's so Gross. juicy. Uh, to -do -do. We were acting to kind of a tourism video. Kind of a tourism video? Well, it's called uh, Hangout. There you go. It's called Palace on Wheels Luxury Train Travel in India. What? Yeah. So it says an unforgettable journey through the Indian state of Rajasthan. Okay. Uh, it shows the rich culture and heritage of India and its great hospitality. On a train? Like, it like, says Palace on Wheels? Like, it's a it's luxury train travel? Yeah, they, they have a bunch of actually luxury trains in India. Really? They have, like, regular trains, then right, the cheap course. ones, but then they but also... like, are we talking, like, luxury, like, cruise lines on river yeah, cruises? So. Is this, like, a so. luxury train? I believe so. Wow. I guess we'll figure out. Um, but Is yeah. SRK on the top singing... Ting, ting, ting. One can only hope. I would hope so. It's I not would. really luxury, is it, unless no, it's doing that. unless SRK is on your roof singing We like that song very much. Here we go! Ah, that was delicious. <laughs> oh, man, he had that head movement going. This is like Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous opening. Remember that old show? <laughs> Rajasthan tourism and Indian railways have set into place a luxury train that brings together the past and the present. I've never traveled by train. Never? Thanks. I've been like, on like long subways. Long no, I'm with you. By I've been on long distance travel. Never. Through the stately decor of the train. It has at the same time all the modern amenities that live up to royal lifestyles. The train is literally a moving palace. I really hope it's not going to go through extraordinarily yes, it has poor parts of India. The Palace on Wheels. That would just suck. Well, Raj stands a lot of desert. The Palace on Wheels comprises 14 fully air-conditioned deluxe saloons Dang. with world-class facilities to enhance traveling pleasure. Does it have a Heine spray? I hope so. Uh, better. A journey by this train could be one of your most memorable experiences. Oh, damn. You could laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess that's where it starts. The Palace on Wheels starts its journey at the Subdarjan station at New Delhi, where the guests are given a warm Rajasthani welcome. The journey lasts for seven nights and eight days. It covers some of the most exotic places in Rajasthan and Agra, making you feel like a Maharaja all the time. Unique places in India. Looks like the Titanic on a train. It did. It, it really did right there. Cigar cabin. That'd be awesome. Look well, at all the white people. Well, <laughs> the lavish dinner keeps your spirits high. There are two beautiful restaurants, Maharaja and Maharani. Jaipur. The first halt of the train is Jaipur, the pink city. White. It was founded by Maharaja Savai Jaisingh II in 1727 AD. The guests are taken around the city for sightseeing. This is a lot like a riverboat cruise. Yeah. Where you get I've off never and done see that the city. Me neither. I've done the a cruise. cruise. Hava Mahal is an architectural marvel with five stories Dang. and honeycomb shaped openings. The mighty Amir Fort leaves a deep impression was the in, in the minds of the, the guests. Video with the, 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 the blue man. Elephant no. rides add to the joy of the visit. The, the, the massive. Uh, As the elephants ascend the slope. Remember that one? Was that the one where you were joking? You said blue man. Surf comes alive. No. Oh. The construction of the fort was started by Man Singh the first. Remember the one on the motorcycle and right? What's Jason going on? First. No, 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 it's not right about. A beautiful array of designs fills up the interiors of the fort. The intricacies of the work hold the visitors spellbound. 
Wow. Oh, look at that. That'd be a cool way to see a lot of the like, yeah. train just stopping yeah. every go go cities. all around India. You get to see it. Ooh, Kingfisher! Be pampered like a royal master. Enjoy a lavish lunch at a pampered like hotel. a royal master. Don't mind being pampered like royalty, but not a royal master. Right I'd like to be spanked like a royal is master. Irresistible. <laughs> Shopping could be an enjoyable experience. Did you ever go shopping when you were in the South China? A little bit. City well, Paris, for stuff we brought back. The home of the erstwhile royal like, family of Jaipur holds a lot of charm the for the visitors. Shirt for Micah, shirt for the uh, ostentatious girls. lifestyles of the Vin rulers the could be gauged from the artworks and exhibits of the palace. Interestingly, the royal family still lives in a part of the palace. India is a royal family. I guess that part of it, not like interested in traditional word. Indian astronomy. Well. Here you are at the Jantar Mandar, the largest Indian observatory of its time, built by Sir Jason the Second. You can go all the way up there. That's cool. Back in the train after a long day, the guests enjoy the royal comforts, food, and drinks. Mm. A well-stocked bar in the train serves wine, liquor, and spirits of Indian and international make. Can't wait to try all of the Indian alcohol. Did you saw her? In the heart of the car, the great Indian desert, famous for its exotic sand dunes, lies. I have ridden Jessica. on a camel when I was in Iran. The next hall of the pass on wheels. Round Jaisal yeah, founded been... the city in 1156 AD. Dang! The Golden Fortress is a magnificent structure made of yellow sandstone. Wow. The curved projections of the fortress it stretch actually kind of looks like oh, pleasure oh, to them. It kind of looks like the... What's the place where the Pokemon is? The intricate Vatican Vatican city. Yeah, that's what it looks with like. their grand facades and stone carvings indicate the skillfulness of the wow. artisans of the bygone universe. Symmetrical openings and carvings show how old school architecture is so impressive considering they had no like yeah it was machine. all by the hand sand dunes are expressions of nature's rhythm on sand well said expressions Each of nature's of rhythm on sand on the fame well said. Some sand dunes give rise to indescribable joy i don't know if i'd ever ride on a camel no Seeping one's emotions the weird in the sunset of the dunes could pull it one to freshness. I actually like them. You yeah. just gotta be careful. They're moody. Loved looking at the sand dunes that were um, kind of undulating. Um, I thought undulating. it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. the sun was As the camels do. It's a, it's it's a, a brilliant a, orange. It's um, not like a horse. Or, it was very peaceful and quiet. It's a lot of white people. Yeah. A great thing at a five-star hotel. Enhances the joy of the wonderful evening in this. I guess historic locals city. probably wouldn't do this. I guess clearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is a it's a nice the luxurious thing, you know. Where the folk but, artists of Rajasthan cast a spell right. on one and all. My hope is that the stops and what you're doing in your shopping is contributing a lot to the economy of the regions you visit. Yeah, and like these people performing that they're making a good living. That's my hope. Yeah. End of another day. The train moves on. Definitely There's a cool way to see the whole, in the a lot of, of different parts of it. Yeah. It's an option, I guess. As long as you're spending a good amount of time at your stops. To yeah. ensure easy availability of hot and cold oh, good. Popcorn. and refreshments. The lounge <laughs> also serves as a place for relaxation and get-togethers. After a good night's rest, the guests are all ready to explore Jodhpur. <gasps> oh, the blue city. The city ringed by a high stone wall with seven gates and several bastions. There used to be a cast thing, but then they just kept Yeswant it into Karta it. is an blue. expression of really? masterly craftsmanship. Huh. Now it's famous the for The royal of so White Marble are thing. fascinating. They got it. The Mehrangarh Fort in Jansu with its rock solid structure. I want to go to all these forts. It has grand all palaces the architecture. Within, yeah. each with its distinct architectural design. The interiors recreate the royal past. I got stained glass in the window. 
Designed by famed Edwardian architect Henry Lanchester, Umayyad Bhavan is a golden yellow sandstone palace. It took 15 years to build this palace and was finished in 1943. It's now time for a grand feast at this royal palace. Those things? No. In Calcutta? I wonder if they're, are they, are they like Lay's? Yeah, I did when it, in Papua New Guinea, we did. Oh, okay. When we visited the Hula tribe in Papua New Guinea, we got gardens. But in the train, they're more, um, uh, internet and DVD players. It's time once again to relax, while on one's way to Savai Madhupur, the next destination. As you spend an enjoyable evening, your meals are prepared on board at a well-equipped kitchen. That looked like a little deep dish pizza, I wouldn't want that. I'd assume it's authentic food, I would hope. I would hope. <laughs> oh, I couldn't even read that. Oh, the day at Savai Madhupur begins much before dawn with a visit to the Ranthambore National Park. Mm. That's a far it is one of the best yes. Indian locations for sighting and photographing the animals and yeah, birds safari. in their natural oh, habitats. Talk to me. The park is home to more than 300 species of birds. Wow. I, I'd like to just go do that for a week. Ranthambore is also the domain of the Lord of the Woods. Heck freaking yes. yes. Oh. Did it end and right there? There you go. <laughs> it also has a tiger. You're done. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> Need we say more? <laughs> we have tigers. Yeah. I. That was. I, it'd be really cool if it's like authentic and you get to spend a lot of time. That's one of my biggest things. Like whenever I go to other countries, I don't like going on tours often because mm. I don't like being on somebody else's schedule. Oh. Interesting. I don't. Yeah. I, I want to. If I want well, to spend a lot of time here, and I want, if like I really enjoy this, I want to spend as much time there as I want. To I'm, I agree with you. It's like I prefer. I, I don't like to necessarily have anything even mapped out. Yeah. I just want to go wherever I want to go when I want to go there. Yeah. If I feel like going off to the left, hey, let's go see what's over there. And I'm a I'm a I'm a planner too. So like, I I will plan out like specific places I want to go. Like when we went to Ireland, mm -hmm. we went. Dublin, South Ireland, West Ireland, and North Ireland in four days. And I saw almost I mean, everything you wanted to see. Obviously, a ton more I want to see in Ireland, obviously. Yeah. But all the big things I really wanted to see the first time I was there, I was able to see. And we kind of just, once we were done seeing those, we were like, oh, now what's over here? Yeah. And it's like, if you went on a tour, you'd be in a, a bus for a couple of exactly. hours. Exactly. No, 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 no. I'm no, here. No. I'm, I'm with you. back. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want that. I would rather do it. So that's one of my oh, issues wow. with stuff like this. I don't know if this is a lot of white people in this, so I'm assuming it's very touristy. Usually, if there's a lot of white people, yeah, trust me, I, I would. I like the authentic feels. One hundred percent. So, but yeah, it might be an authentic feel, and you can tell us if it is, because mm -hmm. uh, we don't know. Yeah, <laughs> they very well may submerse you, and that's the point. Maybe it's attractive to people who are not from India, so they can get fully immersed into the cultures that they're visiting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who knows? I just, I yeah. can't imagine a better immersion than just actually connecting with someone from India. Like when I went to Calcutta, how much better would it get than me walking around the streets of Calcutta with someone who's born and raised there? Yeah. It doesn't get any better than that. And that's my hope is every city we go to, I'm hoping to have the stupid baby yeah. with us. Yeah. That can, one, um, haggle for us. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't. Uh, and two, help us get food so we can have a $100 street food challenge. <laughs> But it did show us a lot of really cool stuff that I want to see. Like, I want to see all the forts. I would love, I mean, we obviously won't be able to do this in one trip, but like, I would love to go on a safari in India. I would love yeah. to, you know, uh, I would, Rajasthan I hear is beautiful and it has a bunch of forts. I don't know if I would ride a camel. It weirds me out. Uh, <laughs> it weirds me out to ride I a lot of I absolutely would. It weirds me out to ride a lot of animals and I know a lot of them enjoy it. Like, I've ridden horses. I know how to ride a horse and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. But it's just. Elephants are very social animals. So I think yeah. elephants enjoy Having interaction just, and writing, and I don't like making animals. Work I, for me. It's, I, it's I do as long as they were created to do that kind yeah. of work. That's why horses actually oh, yeah. do horses, enjoy that. Horses do enjoy. Yeah, that. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, this is cool. I'd love to see more tourism videos. We we've done a bunch. So yeah, if you haven't seen those, we've done it for a lot of cities. But if there's more we haven't done, and there's videos, if they're not subbed, you can talk to the stupid family. They can yeah. help out with that. Um, but yeah, let us know more tours and videos we can check out. Yep.